hi there my name is Saurav Sharma and in this video I am going to show you how you can integrate react.js into your Django web app so let's start the video but before starting out I want to clear that uh, I am assuming that you know some basics of uh, Django and react both and uh, yeah so let's start the video so I have a project which is Django react and uh, if I open this so here I have uh, a react app which uh, is uh, front end I misspell that to front end so if you don't know how this come then uh, open cmd into the folder directory and uh, type here npx since uh, you know how to create a project if you don't know then just uh, download node.js and follow the on in on screen instructions and after that type uh, npx create a react app and uh, type the project name so in my case which is font end and press enter so this will uh, took a little bit of time depending upon the cpu and uh, internet connection and uh, after that it is done then you will see a uh, folder with the name whatever you have given to that and uh, if you go inside the folder then there are some files here you will uh, you will not see a build folder actually i will tell you how this came and you will see all these files except this build folder so if i go to project so cd Font end. So here we are in our uh, uh, React project. So now we have to compile this project, or uh, we can say that we have to make this project ready for the uh, production. And after that, uh, let me see. Uh, let's see this practically first so type here a command which is npm uh, run and after that type build and i think you should know that uh, not this command if you are coming from uh, or you know the about the basics of django and react so this will took some time and uh, it will what it will does is it uh, will all the static files into this uh, build folder and all the temp all the templates also in this build folder huh. so while it's working let's uh, open sublime text where our project is and uh, this is our project folder so in the front end we have build node modules public sr uh, source so if i go to into build folder actually it's uh, compiling the file so that's why first uh, wait for that and after that we will see for these files So as you uh, as you can see that the build folder has been created and uh, our command uh, run build has been successfully completed so here it have compressed the files and uh, put them into the build folder it have put all the static files into this uh, static folders which we uh, were which we were using in our project and uh, some templates uh, here which is index.html so now we will tell the django to collect all these files from this directory so go to uh, firstly make a django project so get out from this directory and uh, here so cd dot dot and uh, here create a django project django admin and uh, start project so what we call that we since 
we are uh, we call this for, uh, front end then uh, we will call our django project back end now i don't want to create an additional separate folder for this project so i will put a dot sign uh, dot in next to this uh, uh, project name and uh, it will use the parent folder to create the project so as you can see the project has been created now let's see if it's working or not so cd uh, sorry we don't need to do cd type here python manage.py run server run server and uh, open google chrome and type uh, and go to the 127 8000 port and as you can see the install has been successfully working so what uh, we will have we will do is uh, just uh, stop the server and uh, open this uh, folder which is django react into the sublime text so here is our complete project and uh, here is our front end back end and our manage.py and the database file so in the font backend go to settings.py and here firstly import os now here we will tell django to uh, take all the static files from this static directory and uh, template files from these template like index.html uh, we will say to collect all the template file from the build folder so if i go to uh, templates directory and here i will type os.path.join and uh, base directory and uh, here we will type the path for where it will look for uh, templates so in the font, uh, font end go to the build folder and in the build folder we have all the templates like index.html since i have not made any more templates so here we have only index.html so i will tell the django to look for uh, font end and uh, build folder and that's it for for this so and uh, we also need uh, to tell django for the static files so go down here and uh, type here uh, static oops files directory and uh, here type uh, os dot we have to pass this in a list so os dot path dot join paste directory and here we will give it the path where from where it can access the static files so static files are in the front end build static folder okay as you can see css js and media all are static files and they are in the static folder so here type uh, front end and uh, build and here type static and uh, that's it for the setting.py file now let's make some url and uh, test our project so close uh, open views.py and uh, here we don't have any <coughs> sorry here we don't have any settings.py file so firstly come here and uh, type uh, path so if somebody come to the home then uh, 
he will be redirected to views so let's create a file which is views views.py and uh, define simple function which is index and this will take a request and uh, it will return render we have to import this too so from django dot uh, shortcuts import render and uh, we also need to import request i think from django dot http import request so in the sublime text for the autocomplete has been improved a lot so if you don't try if you have not tried sublime text for then go and uh, try that and uh, here type request and uh, our template name so if we go into the so for template it will look into the build folder and in in our build folder we have uh, index.html so give this that name so index dot html and uh, go to our urls and here import this views so from dot uh, import views and here type views dot index function and save this so our work has been completed and uh, let's test it uh, test this out and uh, we will see if something there is some problem or anything like that so put this into here and uh, if I check my uh, course file here index.js and uh, app.js so these files are compiled and uh, everything is done in such a way that uh, all things get uh, boiled down to this boi uh, build folder so we will do the changes in our uh, source and public folder and uh, when we type uh, npm run build then all these things will be moved to the not moved but uh, a copy will be created with the very less file size and that will be in this build field uh, build folder so let's uh, check this so that start our server run server and uh, open refresh this okay so we have successfully integrated react js and uh, if we if we do need to do some changes so we have to come to uh, here and uh, let's clo uh, close this out and uh, we have to do all the changes in our uh, we got uh, public and uh, source folder so here we will create uh, components and uh, many things and after we have done all the changes then we will type the command which is npm run build and uh, the, uh, that command will move all the files to uh, here not here in the build folder here we have all the static files and after that uh, django will collect all the files and that will be visible here so i hope you understand all the logic and uh, if uh, you find some difficulty in understanding this then please 
comment below and i will try to solve your pro uh, problem as uh, soon as possible so that's all for the video and uh, thank you for watching the video and see you uh, in the next video goodbye